Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have been having a fantastic week. Today I have a pretty exciting video for you. Uh, recently I did share that I went to the Viva Las Vegas Rockabilly Weekender. I did a ton of shopping. I did some shopping there and then I did some shopping prior because I wanted to make sure I had enough outfits for the event. I did a lot of consignment and uh, thrift store shopping, vintage shopping, and then I do even have a few from Forever 21. They came out with this recent line that is so adorable and retro inspired. This time they did it right. They nailed a good amount of pieces and I included those pieces in here so that's gonna be pretty exciting I am going to do something a little bit different and I'm actually going to be incorporating eyeglasses into my look so I want to thank today's sponsor glasses USA they sent me a four different pair of glasses and I wanted to choose different styles so these right here are more of like a 50s retro and then I have this squared style I also have this style, and then I also have this style which reminds me of the Ray-Ban Club Masters. With each pair of sunglasses, I paired at least three outfits, so you are going to have a good amount of outfits to pair your glasses with. And what I love about Glasses USA is that they have over 4,000 different style selections of eyeglasses and sunglasses combined. You can get anything from modern to retro like these Amelia glasses. And GlassesUSA.com offers up to 70% off your normal prescription sunglasses, so you can shop for affordable eyewear without leaving your home. You can also add any type of prescription to almost almost any type of frame, including sunglasses. Their lenses are the same high quality lenses made in their own lab and they can handle any type of prescription. And if that's not enough, GlassesUSA.com offers a risk-free shopping experience. What that means is that you get free shipping and returns and 100% money back guarantee within 14 days of delivery, no questions asked, and a 365 day product warranty. So you can shop having a peace of mind, knowing that if you do not like the lens or something doesn't work out, you can return it free of charge. So make sure to check out GlassesUSA.com. Click the link in the description box below because they are giving my viewers a special offer and if you go directly to that link, you also will receive that special offer for any prescription glasses or sunglasses and you really, really, really going to love these styles. Like I said, these were my four favorite styles. I did like a few others but it seems like they sell out quick so I had three pairs of glasses that I would choose them and then they'd run out before the order could be made so if you find something on there I would say definitely get them right away because if not you're going to miss out on them but enough blabbing I really want to get into this haul just so you can see how I paired these glasses with everything and as usual if you are not subscribed please be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification to be notified when I upload videos alright dolls let's get into this haul Okay dolls, so the first dress is from Elsewhere Vintage. I got it for $64. It does not have a label, so I don't know what brand. And I paired them with my Amelia Kaylee glasses from Glasses USA. I thought these glasses were perfect because this dress is just a special occasion dress. Beautiful. The red is very vibrant. And the glasses have those beautiful little rhinestones that pair perfectly with this dress. I think it goes so well. I just love the two combinations together and these glasses you can absolutely dress up. I think these are more of like special occasion glasses. And I've also paired them with these pearl earrings that I got from Glam Factory. They were only $12. And then I got this cute hand clutch for only $8 at a vintage store called Grandma's Addict. And I thought it was perfect to go with the pearls and the rhinestones on the dress and glasses. This next dress is a Faldas Kent hand painted dress. I only got it for $30 freaking dollars. This is my most favorite find. I am so in love with it. These are skirts um, hand painted and made in Mexico. And I got it at Grandma's Attic. So it fit slightly large, but I just... It has a wraparound to tie in the back, so it was perfect. It looks like it fits great, and I am so obsessed with this skirt, and I think it looks stunning with the glasses. This next dress is also from Elsewhere Vintage. This is a 1920s style friend's dress. I thought it was perfect, and it's just so much fun. I wore this to a uh, mobster style restaurant in Vegas, and it just 
went so well the dress is extremely heavy so it's high quality i couldn't zip it all the way up you're gonna see that my dresses aren't zipped all the way up because jay wasn't there to help me zip it up <laughs> so i couldn't reach so a lot of my dresses are unzipped just in case you were wondering but here is a close-up of the dress beautiful beads and fringe this next item is billy joe retro it's a stretch boned jumpsuit this one was $1.25, so this was the most expensive item that I purchased. Um, I paired them with my Steve Madden hot pink heels. There is some hot pink in this jumpsuit that you will see when I give you a closer version right now. You, you can't see a close-up of the pink in there, but I love it. It's very form-fitting. reminds me totally of Peggy Bundy, so I am obsessed with this jumpsuit. Definitely one of my favorite finds. And here is a close-up. As you can see, there is hot pink in the dress and it just pairs so great with the glasses. This next dress I got from MMD Antiques. It's a Steppin' Out 1980s style dress. I got it for only $20 and I paired them with my Glasses USA Muse glasses and I think they look so perfect with this dress but seriously I'm so obsessed. Okay I know I say I'm obsessed with everything but this one by far I think is my favorite because I'm just living my 1980s dream. I love the detail and the velvet and it just fits so great. I'm not wearing a baja underneath. It does have some boning that kind of cinches your waist in and it's big at the top because I haven't zipped it up. Like I said, Jay's not there to help me zip it up. So that does zip all the way back up. And just look how great they look with these glasses. These glasses aren't as cat eye as the other ones. These have, um, they're more toned down. They don't overpower the dress. Because these glasses are so versatile, I decided to pair them with my Forever 21 romper. This romper was only $24.90. I also have the floral print one that I posted on there. And just look how amazing this is. This I was so surprised to find it at Forever 21. Like I said, usually you kind of have a, to work a bit to make their items look retro. But this is definitely retro inspired i love it it's so comfortable it is made of linen so it will do some stretching after you wear it for a while but i just love the way they look with these glasses so you can dress these glasses up or dress them down next item is this linen blend leaf print crop top with the matching shorts that i also got at forever 21 you guys i'm telling you forever 21 has stepped their game up now the sleeves are supposed to go up like this but i like to throw them off the shoulder i think it just gives more of a sexier little vibe and the shorts i got in a medium i did wash them and they shrunk a bit because they were really loose around the waist so keep that in mind if you don't want them to shrink then um maybe hand wash them and do not dry them but to me they fit perfect now i paired them with my matching red velvet steve madden heels so basically all my meals are going to be from steve madden in this video only my black pair is from um unique vintage but just look how great they look with my glasses once again i love the way they look now going on to this yellow dress that I only got for $20 at MMD Antiques. I am pairing them with these poke clear cold glasses, also from Glasses USA. These kind of gave me more of a 60s, 70s vibe, so I thought they would look great with this dress. And I was right, they look awesome with this dress. And I never really thought to wear glasses, but honestly, I think I look better with glasses. I don't know if anybody feels that way about themselves, but I just love this dress. It's super flowy. It is see-through, so I may need to wear um, like a shapewear underneath, a nude shapewear, just so my underwear don't show. Next item is this St. John by Marie Gray sweater. Now these sweaters can be pretty expensive. This one I actually got for $26 at Grandma's Attic and I thought it is beautiful. I can dress it up or dress it down. It just gives me like country club 
type of vibes and it's really comfortable and I love the gold buttons and I think they looked great with the glasses. This next top I got for $40 at Glam Factory Vintage. This was handmade, so it's not um, vintage, but it's a uh, vintage reproduction. And I paired them with some white shorts. I thought the line just really gave me some kind of 70s vibe, so I thought they would look great with these glasses. Next is this 60s style dress that I got for $45 at Glam Factory Vintage, also paired with these 60s, 70s glasses. The dress actually reminds me of like a stewardess dress, which is why I loved it. And of course, it's not zipped all the way up because Jay's not there. Eh. <laughs> but yes, it reminds me of like a stewardess dress, so I had to have it because I am obsessed with that kind of Pan Am style, which this was giving totally giving me that vibe. Next item is this stop staring, stop staring dress that I actually got at MMD Antiques for only $35 and I paired them with my glasses USA Muse methodology glasses because these glasses give me that kind of I'm going to go study at the library vibe <laughs> or that school person type of vibe but they're very classic, very chic and I thought what better dress to pair it with than with this dress because this one gives me sort of that Adams Family um, Wednesday kind of preppy vibe so I really love the way they looked together Next item is more of a casual outfit. This is from Ruby DB Clothing. This is their Kingdom set that I got for $51. And I actually got this at Viva Las Vegas. This outfit saved my life while my other one was like flapping in the wind. <laughs> so it was really comfortable. I love it. Very summer vibes. And I think they go great with the glasses because once again, these glasses don't overpower the outfit. They're just very simple, very sleek. So I think it just goes well with the gingham and the red. And I wore tennis shoes just to give a different vibe than heels. And here is a close-up. This next outfit is from Glam Factory Vintage. I got it for $45 and it's just a brown and a black houndstooth dress. The belt does not come with it. That was just a belt I already had. Now, th this one didn't have a label, so if I don't mention like a brand, that's because there's no label and I don't know the brand of it. But I was so excited to find this because it fit me so perfect. I love it. Sometimes um, houndstooth items are kind of hard for me to fit into. And this last one, this is a Jack Bryan maxi dress from Elsewhere Vintage. I got for $86 and oh, I am so obsessed with it. It reminds me a lot of my Lily Diamond dress that I got a while back. I only got this one for $86 and I do see someone online selling it for $107. So I'll link it down below just in case anybody wants it. But it did fit slightly large so I do have to take it in around um, the wrists and then a little bit on the sides around my waist. I used the belt to really um, cinch it in, but it is pretty loose without the belt. But I had to have this dress. I It, it reminds me totally of the 70s, early 70s, late 60s. So of course I had to have it and I think the glasses pair perfect with the color and just the style. So that's it for today's video, dolls. I hope you really enjoyed this video and my selections. Don't forget to check out glassesusa.com. Click the link in the description box below. Let me know which ones were your favorites. These are absolutely my favorite. But that is it for today. I love you, dolls. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.